Right, so now let us look at the interval notation and number line. So these are the interval notation, the set notation, the number line, and then we have to determine whether are they an open interval or a closed interval. Okay, so let us look at this one, 2 until 5. As you can see, this is simply a normal bracket. So for the set notation, we couldn't see any equal sign over here. So no equal sign here. No equal sign here as well. So based on our number line, if this is 2 and this is 5, you're going to see at 2 and 5, both of them are actually an empty circle. So since both of them are empty circle, we're going to call them an open interval. Okay, so a normal bracket without the equal sign. If we draw our number line, it should be an empty circle and this one should be an open interval. Okay, so 2 until 5, but this this time we have something different because at 5, we do have a square bracket. So therefore, as you can see over here at 5, we actually have something with equal. So if you draw a number line, if the left hand side is 2, the right hand side is 5. At 5, we do have something different over here. So this is actually called a dense circle. So an empty circle at 2 because we have no equal sign. A dense circle at 5 because we have the equal sign at 5. And this is also called the half open interval. So 2 until 5 almost similar except that. So now we do have an equal sign at 2. So that's the reason why at 2 we are going to have a dense circle. At 5 we are going to have an empty circle. So now the last one 2 until 5. As you can see both of them have the equal sign. For our number line, at 2, we're going to have a dense circle. At 5, we're also going to have a dense circle. And we're going to call this a closed interval. Because we're going to have the equal sign at both 2 and 5. Okay, so sometimes we might need to draw a number line that's going to infinity. Okay, so for example, over here, 2 until infinity, 2 until infinity. Okay, so... The difference between these two, again, is within the bracket. So now at 2, if you have a simple bracket, so this is simply x greater than 2 without the equal sign, a square bracket, that means this one is a greater than or equal to 2. And then based on the number line, 2 is on the left hand side, infinity, positive infinity is actually on the right hand side. So that is why we start from 2, going to the right hand side. And again, starting from 2, going to the right hand side. Okay, so this one, negative infinity is actually the most left hand side. So this is the left hand side, negative infinity. 5 is somewhere on the right hand side. So we are going from 5 to the left hand side. So x will be less than 5. So over here, similar, except that now we are having some equal sign. So that's the reason why at 5, you should have some dense circle. Okay, so union and intersection. So union, it should either be in A or B, or normally I'll say combine them together. So we're going to take everything below the line and we're going to combine them together. If you have to find the intersection, then it means that it has to be in both A and B. So that means normally the keyword that I always use is overlap. So those two lines need to be overlap of each other before we can find out what is the intersection. Okay, so now let us try to do some example. So example 1, we have 3 until 7, union with 2 up until 5. So let us draw our number line. Okay, so do remember, based on your number line, the smallest number will be on the left hand side. The largest or the biggest number will be on the right hand side. So the smallest number is 2. And a little bit closer to 2 is 3. And then maybe around here, this is 5. Then 6. And here might be 7. So the first one, we got 3 until 7. So 3 until 7 so this is the first number line ok as you can see at 3 we simply have a normal bracket so an empty circle at 7 we do have a square bracket so this one shouldn't be an empty circle it should be a dense circle 
So let me fill that up for you. Okay, so the second one we have 2 up until 5. So starting at 2 up until 5. So let us do a number line for them. Okay, so at 2 I'm going to have a square bracket. So this one should be a dense circle. So let us fill this one up. And then at 5, it should be a simple bracket. So this is simply an empty circle. Okay, so we're going to see some union. So union simply means that we have to combine the all. So we have to combine both of them. It can either be in A or B. So take everything below this line. So you're going to have something starting from 2 up until 5. And everything below that line. So we do have something starting from 3 up until 7. So combining them, as you can see, the shaded region now starting from 2 up until 7. So our answer now, 2 up until 7. So to determine what kind of bracket do we need, so let's look at 2. So at 2, I'm going to have a dense circle. So this one should be a square bracket. At 7, this is actually a dense circle as well. So it should be a square bracket too. So that is the first example. Let us go to the second example. Okay, so we have negative infinity until 7. Overlap with 2 up until 10. So again, draw your number line. So the smallest number over here is 2. So 2. And then perhaps a little bit far. So this is 7. And then quite near. So this is 10. Okay, so negative infinity until 7. So negative infinity is somewhere on the left hand side. Up until 7. So 7 is here. So I'm going to start from the left most until 7. So negative infinity. I should put the arrow over here. So negative infinity up until 7. And at 7, this is actually a square bracket. So that means this one should be a dense circle. So let us fill this up. Okay, and then we have 2 up until 10. So, 2 up until 10. So, at 2, this one is a square. So, this is a dense circle. So, let us fill this up. And then at 10, this is simply a normal circle. So, that is okay. So, now let us find out where does those two lines overlap. So this one, this one, so the two line overlap over here. So that mean our answer is starting from 2 up until 7. So this is also 2 up until 7. At 2, I do have a closed circle over there. So this one should be a square bracket. At 7, this is also should be a square bracket so that is the answer for this one okay so that's it for 1.1 real numbers so i'm gonna see you guys in the second subtopic for chapter one all right so bye bye